Welcome back everybody. Now announced as the winner of the jazz category for the 2022 edition of the Standard Bank Young Artist Award is Durban-born South African saxophonist and composer Linda Skakane. He began his music education in his Durban community as a clarinetist, then moved on to trumpeter Brian Tusi's Siakula Music Center. His illustrious career involves the release of his debut album Two Sides, One Mirror, a second album, Open Dialogue and album Isambulo alongside uh, Africa Mkize. He joins us now this morning as we find out more on his award as the Standard Bank Young Artist uh, uh, Jazz winner. Skakane, very good morning, man. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you on the show, man. So happy well to be done. here. Well done. Congratulations once again. Thank you so much. Thank so you. what uh, kind of doors are you hoping uh, this, I mean, this, this award will, will open for you? I mean, so many doors have opened already, but uh, yeah. you need to keep on smashing doors and smashing doors. So how will this award help you smash those doors? More opportunities to create, more opportunities to collaborate, mm, mm. Um, just more opportunities to try and make this world a better place yes, through, yes. through music and art. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, let's now take a step back as to, you know, uh, how you started in the musical journey, especially in the jazz scene. What drew you to jazz music? What got you interested? I think what really got me interested is the similarities to the music that I grew up listening to, Ekaya, mm. you know, in KZN. And yeah. I, I, I feel like the music, like traditional music from where I come from was jazzy. And okay. when I was exposed okay. to jazz, of course, I went to Siakula Music Center, yeah. where I first got to, you know, um, like, be exposed to jazz albums mm. through the, you know, guidance of Dr. Brian Susi. Mm. And then the music just felt like home. Mm. Mm. And at what point did you realize that uh, this is a passion that you want to make a living out of? I think when I was 16, I just made a decision yes. that I would like to pursue like music okay. as my career and I would go and study music. Yeah. And how has your sound evolved over time? Like in terms of growth, in terms of, you know, intonation, in terms of every facet of the music industry. How have you grown yourself as an artist? Um, I think, uh, I think I'm loving myself much. Okay. And with that, uh, I think, uh, you, you know, it helps me to even get closer to, you know, to the voice that I'm searching for. Sure. But of course, sure. with the help of all the uh, masters that we follow, we try to imitate the ones that have been doing the work before us. So mm. my journey has been about following, you know, what the masters have been, you know, mm. working on throughout the years. And you just said that there's this voice that you're trying to pursue. Yes. What is that voice? And uh, what do you think the outcome would be after pursuing that voice and in terms of delivery of, uh, of your art? I wish I knew what that voice is, mm. but I'm, I'm just searching. To be honest, I don't know um, what it is, but one thing that comes to mind is originality. That, that, is, yeah. what I, uh, that is what I'm searching for. Okay. Mm. I mean, it, it suffices to say that you are a legend in your own right. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to say that myself. <laughs> Maybe in the next 60 years. <laughs> but uh, having said that, uh, Linda, what routine practices or exercises have you developed to uh, ensure that you maintain your originality and mm. your relevance in the scene? Well, the most important thing to me is, is the composition of self. Mm -hmm. and and like you know trying trying by all means to spend more well to be conscious of what is happening around me so that right. when I pick up my saxophone I come there as a person that is conscious you know that is that is very conscious to the vibrations of the universe because mm -hmm. I believe that for me to to even try and um, you know, navigates through sonic systems. I need to be aware of what is happening around me. Okay. So self-composition comes to, you know, becomes the center of yeah, my, yeah. my, my preparations. And I suppose that your self-awareness has been, you know, enhanced by your international, by your intensive international travels. So having said that, uh, mm. how then do you ensure that um, your music is a reflection of the global jazz outlook? Yeah. Um, I guess the most important thing is to, is to know where I come from yes. and is to really dig deep within myself. Mm -hmm. And with that, I'm able to, you know, to navigate with so much uh, ease wherever I am. Because I, I believe 
Where, wherever I am, I, I represent an entire community. Mm. And of course, with that, I need to really be like focus and really understand where I come from and know my people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you just completely, you just recently completed a master's degree in what, in jazz music or in music rather, at the Norwegian Academy of Music. Yes. So having completed that qualification, do you see yourself differently now from when you started? Do you look yourself differently or has anything changed as a result of this, uh, you know, of this qualification? Well, I guess a lot has changed. Of course, um, this qualification gives me access to institutions. You know, I can mm -hmm. be a part of institutions. Okay. And, um, and with that as well, being, being a part of an institution, studying allows one to grow, you know, mm -hmm. and I guess that's the change that I've realized. But more than anything, um, in the process of doing that, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly finding myself. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was speaking to a very young jazz artist who mentioned your name, who mentioned uh, Nduduzo Makatini as some of the jazz artists that uh, he looks up to. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really big deal for someone to say that they look up to you. So as an artist that is fairly young, how then do you get uh, young people uh, interested in jazz music? Um, okay, that's a, that's a tricky question, but I guess people are, are, are driven by something deeper within themselves to follow what we do. Mm -hmm. And you've just mentioned uh, Dr. Makatini, who's one of my biggest inspirations yeah. as well. And what I really admire about him is originality and seeing seeing a person that I would that I would call like my big brother who seems to be similar to my siblings but who happens to be a jazz musician so just to find that safe space in the industry that okay this is a jazz musician but he's also a big brother you know a person that you can look up to mm -hmm. so I guess originality is 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 a center of it all indeed, indeed. yeah and we've seen over the years uh, music evolving quite rapidly and uh, quite vigorously in some instances. So, mm. but jazz music has always maintained that traditional standard. I'm not sure if I make sense. So, are you going to, you know, to be a part of the cabal that uh, of the opinion that jazz music should evolve as well, should move with the winds and evolve over time? I mean, just considering that uh, the standard of music is almost a half a century old. Well, I think jazz has, has been evolving all these years. You know, if you think of like, you know, the periods in jazz, there was a time where there was ragtime back in the 1920s. There was cool jazz sometime in the 60s. We have modern jazz now in the, in, you know, in, in the 2000s. So I guess jazz moves with time as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Lovely chatting yeah. to you, Linda. Thank you so much for joining us, eh? Thank you. Great stuff. Well. South Africa's brightest young stars are acknowledged by the National Arts Festival through the Standard Bank Young Artist Awards. We just spoke to saxophonist and composer Linda Skakane.